Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. Uh, this is from the 19th to the 26th. Um, we're going to pull up three cards from the Angel Tarot deck and we'll clarify it with the Smithway Tarot. So let's get three cards for you and one last card here. Alright. Ego. Page of Fire. Queen of Earth. Alright. So ego is the uh, devil card. Uh, it could be a Capricorn energy as well. It says a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Um, this could also talk about toxic energies, um, neighbors, friends, family members, you know. So let's clarify what is this about. Ooh, it jumped out. Okay, something is coming to an end here. Um, this is something you have put your time into. Um, surrendering to defeat. All right. <clears throat> um, and um, crying over spilled milk. So I think it's being very careful about the decision you're going to make this week, Virgo. I don't know why, but that's what I'm sensing with these cards. Um, because there's the Ten of Swords, right? And it talks about surrendering to defeat. Um, it also talks about being working at the same field for 10 years, not realizing that you're wasting your life away, you know, and seven of, I'm sorry, eight of coins talks about work, all right, and five of cups, just regretting your decision of working with them, and I feel like you see how this has affected your life, all right, and um, let's clarify the page of fire. Page of Fire says outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. Um, Page of Wands. News of an exciting and new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenu ingenuity. Ingenuity. Let's clarify that. Okay. First card, second card. Um, third. Oh, there it is. So that could be a message, a hello, an email, um, some kind of... Uh, a uh, light bulb. Oh, look at that. We have the page of fire and the knight of wands. Um, from a page to a knight. I feel, I see you leveling up here, Virgo. And I see you being this justice card. You could have a strong Libra in your chart, of course. Um, a decision maker, a wise decision maker. Um, you could be like a mediator, a counselor, um, even just with your family members. I see you stable. You're very stable and I see you having fun. What is this about? Having fun, a message. It could be a message like you're having fun or you you could be making a decision between having fun, going out and staying at home here. Like all by your lonesome or just keeping things to yourself, not speaking up, not making your voice heard. But there's this risky factor in it so there may be like an exciting news that may sweep you off your feet or um shake it shake things off a little bit virgo but let's see the queen of earth this is you right um earth sign it says thoughtful creative warm sensible make time for those around you take a sensible approach deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner nice Ah, so maybe you're being asked to make time for those around you, Virgo. Take a sensible approach, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Another card, please. Okay, there, one more. Okay. So let's see, first card. Ooh, someone's not talking and being manipulative. Oh no. So we are in Mercury retrograde, so you may get this wrong impression of someone, or someone may get this wrong impression of you. So be very careful. Because um, I see the High Priestess, and this talks about being silent, um, keeping things to yourself between you and your partner, being separated, only like telling a portion of what happened. And this is like the manipulative energy here betrayal. Um, false sense of identity and this is being 
feeling inadequate. They're feeling inadequate. They're feeling low self-esteem that they'd rather not speak. Okay? But they know a lot though. They know a lot. Like, they're a bookworm and... Okay. Alright, well, let's get a final advice for my Virgo. A final advice for Virgo, please. Let's see. Okay, here. Alright, um, it says... What is this? Embrace your sensitivity. Your sensitivity is the sacred gateway to your intuition. It's that special, receptive radar that picks up energy and signals. In fact, your sensitivity is one of your greatest assets and the key to your survival. The more you connect with it, the more miracles and synchronicities you'll attract. Embrace your sensitivity, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.